If you guys would like to see my review on this eyeshadow palette here, then please stay tuned. Hey guys, so I got a new palette today. Or I don't know if it's really new, but I haven't seen it before, so I'm going to assume it's new. But I got this hard candy palette, and it is like, it just got all these beautiful glitter shades, so I of course had to pick it up. And this is called Blushful Nudes. And on the back here it says the names. And this is interesting because most palettes I get, the back is like in black and white. So that's kind of cool. But the names of the colors, let's see if I can match this up. Love Child, Flirty Girl, First Date, Sexy Smile, Love Affair, Spark in the Air, So Sassy, no, 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 my bad, Glam Girl, First Kiss, So Sassy, Class Act, Connection, Strapless, Surrender, In the Nude, Naughty. Okay, that was, I actually did that pretty well. So I'm going to figure out, is this thing open? No, I'm going to go open it and then I'll come back to you guys. So I opened it and these are the colors. Hopefully you guys can see them a little more clearly. They're really, really sparkly. Those, there's these two, hold on. This one and this one are the most sparkly. I don't want to touch it yet. And these ones just have a little bit of sparkle. It's more like marbleized in these three shades. So I guess we're going to swatch them. So let me do that. Um, let me take out these brushes because I want to be able to swatch it where you guys can see. It's getting a little bit brighter out now. So I'm going to be taking this shade here. My face itches. Let's put that there. It's okay. This shade here. Oh, it's like a, like a pearlescent kind of. That's cute. Sorry, my face like itches and I don't want to scratch it. What's this color? Eh. It's one of these really, really sparkly ones. Oh, thank God, it's not just overlay. It's like actually sparkly. And again, you'd have to apply that a specific way to make it. Like, it's not like a normal eyeshadow. And then this one. It's alright. These aren't the most pigmented shades, like, but they're very, very pretty. So I kind of like it. You know? And when I rub these, it gets a little bit more pearlescent, so. Sorry, I look like a bruise there. I don't think I do. The shade. This one right here. It's actually super pretty. Yeah, that's nice. This pink. And again, you have to apply those a specific way. Um, but let's see, I think I already did that wrong. So now I'm down here. As you can see, though, they're all very, very, very similar in color. Which I realize it's a similar eyeshadow palette, but like, they're very similar. Sorry if I'm like just awkwardly quiet. I'm just trying to finish this up. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see the palette and the colors that it left. I'm trying to get it like in frame. I don't know how to. That's the best I can do. But anyways, yeah, you can see they're like all pretty similar in color. But uh, I want to try some kind of eye look. So before I start, I wanted to show you all this because I thought it was so pretty. I got It's a Mirror. But it says love on the back, and it's actually quite heavy. It's really pretty. I don't know where it was from, though, because it was a gift. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to take... I really, really like that uh, this bottom shade down here. So I'm going to try and use that as my lid shade. So what I'm going to be doing... It's hard for me to show you guys this. I'm going to be taking this shade here, and maybe that one, and popping it over my eyelid and crease. Actually, you know what? This is already working pretty well. Like, it, it transfers a little better on the eyelid. Some makeup does that, and I don't understand why or how, but it does. And I apologize if you can hear the TV. It's pretty loud. I'll go turn it off, but 
it's so far away. Yeah. Okay. So I guess there's a pink base, and let me take some underneath as well, because I don't want my eyes kind of even. Okay, so there's that, and now I'm going to be taking that um, brown kind of shade, and I'm going to put that in the outer third of the, this shade. I'm going to be taking that <coughs> in the outer third of my eyelid. I could wet my brushes to work with these. I could see like these are probably going to work better while well, wet. It's not bad, but it's not like wow. You know what I mean? Let me go get a wet brush and I'll come back to you guys. I started singing country music on this TV, so I had to turn that off. Anyways, I figured let's try using the brushes that they actually gave me. That was loud. I apologize. The word me. Okay. So I'm going to be trying these because I know these are really good at applying shades like that. So it's going to look gross, but I'm going to do it anyways because fuck it. Just to make it stick. I saw a drag queen use that technique and I've tried it before and it works. So there's that. I'm using this shade here. And I'm going to be putting that in the inner third. And that works so much better already. Oh my god. Can you see like, oh, so much better. And I mean, I guess as long as it's your spit and like you know you're not sick and you're clean, then you'll be okay. Don't ever do that with someone else's brush and put it on their eye. That's sick. That's not okay. But if it's just you, you know, it's alright. So that's this so far. I don't know if you guys can see. It is very shimmery though. It's like, could be blended better. Hmm. I don't even know what to do about these colors. I, I definitely want to try one of these just to see like how well I can make it stick. So I guess let's go with... Let me add some more definition to the eye shape first. So I'm going to be taking this shade here and putting that in the outer corner and such just to make my eye shape a little more defined. You know, and take your time with this. I'm just trying to do it a little fast because I want the tutorial to be done. In fact, I'm going to pause this, make the shape nice, and then come back to you guys. That eye shape is a little bit better. Now I'm going to try to take the glitter shade and I'm going to use one of these brushes because I think it should apply well. And I guess let's go with this one here. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh, it's very, like, gummy. Like, look. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, like, completely moving around. Anyways, um, let's try putting this on the eyelid. This actually applies really, really well with these kind of brushes. Probably because I just, like, destroyed the color, but... Oh, well, we'll just blend it back the best that I can. And this is like a little bit chunky, but if you smooth it out, you'll be okay. It is actually very sparkly. That actually is like pretty intense for just coming straight out of a palette and not using like glue and glitter and stuff like that. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. You guys didn't want to do that on camera. That was a hard sneeze too. Okay. And get back to applying this. Kinda hurt my lungs. It applies alright though. How did you guys enjoy Halloween? What did you guys do? Because I did not really do anything for Halloween. I thought I would, but no. I was trying to get marigolds, but I couldn't find them anywhere. It's so, like that was kind of upsetting because like I wanted to do a Day of the Dead Remembrance kind of thing and I needed marigolds and I just it really upset me that I couldn't find them. Hopefully I can still- I've still got two more days though, so... I believe the first night is for the, like, babies and young children. So the adults and older people, I believe, are the second and third day. So as long as I get marigolds tonight and have the candles burning and, you know, have everything set up, I think I'll be okay. But I was just upset because of that. I gotta make sure it's recording. It looks pretty nice though, like I actually really like it.
you gotta be really careful with where you apply the glitter because if you apply glitter like looking chunky it's just gonna look like not cute so you want to try to apply it in the best kind of line that you can but I like it a lot it's nice And I'm trying to give you guys a realistic, uh, you know, like, how long does it take to put on the glitter, you know, like, all that kind of stuff. Because I hate it when, uh, I just don't tell you anything. Like, most makeup looks take a very long time, then you'll see the tutorial, and it's like, I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys can see that. I think I'm going to go throw on some liner and mascara, and I'll be back for you guys. So this is the eye makeup. I put on liner, uh, white liner, black liner, and mascara, and then I'm going to be using this Filler Instinct by NYX, and this is in the color Brunch Drunk. It's just a gloss, and my hair is getting stuck in it, which isn't cute. And that is about it for this look. I'll pull it up close so you guys can see. Guys, so this is the look up close. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and yeah, bye guys.